there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Brave Story New Traveler. Today we have some side quests to get done and there's actually quite a few of them considering we're still pretty early in the game. So I'm in Sakawa Town and uh, let's go ahead and get started right outside the inn talk to this guy. Hey, ain't he that kid that bailed Minos out of trouble? One of the same, Wastus. Let me introduce you. This is Tetsuya. How do you do, Tetsuya? The name Wastus. That reminds me, I need a favor and you seem up to the task. What kind of favor? Could you get me some choice honey? Uh, what's that? The guy of Vespids of Lanka Forest make it. I ain't worth spitting that all, but my next delivery is riding on that honey. Help a fellow out? I'll give you this strange diagram number two if you do. Oh, great. Hey, what do you say, Tetsuya? Sure, why not? Huh, <laughs> he looks so happy. Well, do it, thank you! Remember, it's the choice honey made by the guy of Vespids. Got it. Okay, those are actually pretty rare monsters, um, so I'm going to cut to one of I, well, cut to Lanka Forest and then cut to one of I actually um, encounter them. Well, here I am, and I've got to say this guy of Vespid is a pain. Um, not because it's difficult, just because it has so much HP. Urgh. And it does that whenever there's a lot of them alive, so that can be pretty damaging. Um, the best way to do this is to get rid of these regular Vespids, and I'm going to use Tatsuya to do that, hopefully using extra attacks and things like that. Oh god, I got his defense down too. That's not good. But using the critical hit abilities of Yuno and Sogreth will make this go a lot faster. Um, so yeah, do that. I tried to poison the Gaia Vespid, but it didn't seem to work all that well, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep on using Sniper on it. If somebody needs healing, then Yuna will heal. Uh, Tatsuya will take care of the little guys, because his abilities don't do as much damage. He doesn't have a critical hit ability, uh, so it doesn't do as well as, um, what's his face, uh, Yuno and Sogret with their critical hit abilities. So yeah, I think that this is probably the best way to go with this. Once Tetsuya has taken care of um, the little guys, then I'm going to have him use Light Spark. Um, I'm not going to worry about stealing from this guy, because I don't think it's really all that necessary. But uh, it's there. You can if you want to. I think it's just a Vespid Stinger that you get. So yeah, not too concerned about it. Uh, but this guy takes a good about five or six rounds to go down. I mean, he... There, finally! It's about damn time! My god! Yeah, all that, but... Uh, we get a decent amount of experience, and we got a choice honey! Sweet! Well, we got the choice honey we needed. It's kinda nice to be back in Lanka Forest again, huh? This is where you and I first met, Tetsuya. Remember? Thanks for saving my butt that time. That was a while ago, huh? Seems like just yesterday. But you and I have still got plenty of adventures ahead of us. Well, what do you say we go back to Sakawa and deliver this honey, huh? Sounds good to me. We got the stuff you were looking for. This is it, right? Huh, must be. Oh, you found it! This is just what I needed! Thanks a million! Here's that diagram I promised. Okay, strange diagram number two. Thanks again, really. I need it. Oh, well, no, thank you. Actually, let's look at that diagram real quick. So go to crafts, uh, make accessories, and strange diagram. Where is it? Well, number one, we can't make it yet because we don't have the cryptic pelts, but it decreases your max HP but to increase strength. I don't think it's all that great, so I'm not going to worry about it. But let's go inside of uh, this house right here because we have another quest. Hey, old man, what's up? Nice hat. Where's that hair? Is that hair? I think that's hair. Oh, so great. You're just in time. Got an errand for you. Foo Fen, sir, what can I do for you? Well, thing is, I've got a delivery to Lyra scheduled. But I promised I'd be in Arakita to shuttle materials for the new hospital. Hate to trouble you, but could you handle Lyra's delivery for me? All the way to Lyra's, sir. You will? Great! I don't think that so great, uh, is too enthused about this. Take this package to Nelson. He's a lodge master there. Okay. But sir, we have our own business to. Thanks for the help. Oh, that's right. Nelson works in the Uptown Lodge. Don't forget. Is this strange package going to burn the whole village to the ground? No, that's uh, another game. Yeah, so we're stuck with this. Uh... Oh, really? That was Kikim's father. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, let's head on down to Lyris. I'm in Uptown Lyris, so let's go to the inn. 
Deliver that package. Burn it to the ground! Excuse me, got a package here for one Mr. Nelson? Ah, oh, right here, thank you. But, wait. I was told Fu Fen would be the handler. Yeah, it's a long story. I bet he double booked again, didn't he? That water can work his behind off, let me tell you. Careful you don't get sucked in. Oh, before I forget. Oh, our award? What is it? Let me give you the reward I promised Fu Fen. Oh no, that's alright. Nonsense. This is common practice. And you have to be compensated for your work. Alright then, much obliged. Ooh, what do I get? With a spirit diagram number one. Nice! Let's check out that one, see, uh, see what we got there. Let's see. Crafts, uh, make accessory. Spirit diagram number one. Where is it? There it is, way on down here. Huh, condensed thoughts from the word real world. What the hell does that do? Oh, you know what? I probably could just look at it and tell me. Oh, no, it won't. Okay. <laughs> well, let's uh, check that out real quick and just see what it does. I'm just curious now. Oh, it actually increases a lot of different stuff. Wow. Your uh, defense goes up three points and your maximum HP goes up uh, quite a bit as well. So, yeah, sure. Oh, look at that. That's uh, pretty good, actually. So, uh, we have another quest that we can do down here. We're going to go down into the uh, tavern and talk to this guy. Vincent the Painter. I'm ruined! What's with you? I came to Laos with the dream of becoming a great painter. But no matter how I try, I can't seem to create the right shade of red. This piece I'm working on will never be perfecto. Why go on living? Kill me! Hey, pal, get a grip. Just leave me be. We're Highlanders, so... We can't sit by and let you, you know, stab yourself with that paintbrush. Ain't there anything we can do to help? Oh, but there is. Do you think you can get me some red powder? I hear you can get them from Z4s. Not the sort of a beast a delicate man like myself could hope to take on. But with the red powder, I just know I can paint the sublime shade of red that I need. Alright, alright. We'll go get some for you. Right, Tetsuya? Yeah, sure. We can't respond, but sure. Yeah, I can kiss you! So what you have to do is go to Trianka Hospital, fight the Z4s, and you steal it from them. Uh, they don't drop it, you have to steal it from them. So I'm going to go and do that, and be right back. Woohoo! I got it! Um, I also just wanted to say that you really should be, while well, you're in these dungeons anyway, uh, bird brawling. So, in um, the Seaside Cave and the this hospital dungeon, since they are completed, we have... Um, snobs in here so we can go ahead and talk to them and start up a bird brawl and the one in this dungeon the hospital is right by the entrance she's right over here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that off screen and uh i'll meet you back woohoo won that brawl and uh just wanted to say remember we're doing this for feathers and uh once you get a certain amount of feathers then you get side quests and all that and um if you can't win or you're having problems, remember, go down to that grotto that's a little bit to the southwest of the hospital, and you can catch more birds there. So anyway, let's go give uh, Vincent his powder. Got your powder here. Really? Oh, let me see. Okay, great. Oh, Magnifico. Now I can make the perfect red. I can kiss you. Yeah, my, uh, French isn't so hot. But I won't. Instead, I'll give you this. Ooh, get the Fruit of Vitality. Nice! Now, time to complete my masterpiece. And off he goes, never to be seen again. Even though he has another quest that you should be able to activate now, but you can't. But there is a quest over in Lanka. Once you make it over to Lanka, just go ahead inside the tavern and, uh, talk to this guy. Well, if it isn't Yuna... I heard you left on a journey. Who's your friend? Oh, hi, Kukuwa. How are you? This is Tetsuya. He's really strong. You wouldn't believe it. Really? A young boy like him? Yeah, Tetsuya's like, oh, go screw yourself. Well then, perhaps you do me a favor. Like what? Well, I've heard mention of peculiar scales that can be found in the seaside cave. Could you hunt one down for me? I'll give you this strange diagram one in return. 
Well, Tetsuya, I know I don't mind. There's no hurry, just if you happen to come by one. I have a customer who'd be absolutely thrilled. See? No hurry. Consider us on the job. Thank you very much. I'm sure you'll come through for me. So we need to head to that cave, and I need to go there anyway, because I need to find the snob that's in there. So uh, I'll meet you there. It's actually you just kind of go in, and then the cutscene happens. So uh, yeah, it makes it nice and easy for you. So as you come into the seaside cave, uh, you'll definitely run into this guy. It's all just a straight line path. And then head right over here for our scene. Where do you think we'll find that peculiar scale? Scales belong to fish, so we should probably start there. Well, no, what do you... Th moron. <laughs> oh, look, something just blinked. You think that's it? Well, fish don't blink, so... Hmm. Whoa! Oh, monster! Huh, you didn't think it would be a monster? So the Voldana. Oh, the Lord Almighty. So, let's see, we're gonna use Major Nuisance with both of them. It's amazing! Yeah, it's gonna be so good. Uh, let's use a clean split as well. What it does, it's another Unity, Double Tech, whatever you want to say, uh, between Tetsuya and Yuno. But what it does is, not only does it hit all enemies, and it hits them for like a really good chunk of change, for like 40 to 50 damage, but it also poisons all enemies, and it hits them, I would say, like 90% of the time. I mean, like, they're constantly poisoned. These big guys, they seem to have some sort of innate resistance to poison, so yeah, I wouldn't uh, worry about it too much there with it hitting. Let's see if we can't steal from them. Probably not. I uh, would we'll try it, though. Eh, give it a shot. And then have him just use a uh, clean split. And there we go. This is going to be another long battle. Wow, she only did five damage to him? Seriously? Oh, that's really crappy. Oh, stole a gleam stone. That's something. Not too concerned about it, though. Yeah, keep on clean splitting, use critical hit attacks on him. Let's try, oh, ooh, what does head start to do? Oh, grants the first attack. Eh, no, not, not concerned about that. Oh, let's try this. Electrifying smile. Nice. And keep on going from there. Well, didn't paralyze him and did, like, shit damage, so yeah, I won't be using that anymore. Oh, seriously? Ugh, but the light spark did okay because I think that it's a uh, magical base damage and he just has really high physical defense. So let's try um, the sniper's eye because that's a guaranteed critical hit and keep on going from there. He seems to be weakened now so it shouldn't be that much longer. Uh, but yeah, he does have a lot of HP. Whoa! But yeah, there we go. Oh god, you're calling help too? Oh good lord. Ugh. Oh well, at least we can kill him in one hit, so eh, there's something. But another good thing about that major nuisance is that um, the person who you choose to use it gets credit for the damage. So, and it's dealing like 50 something damage to like four different monsters. That's like basically your 20 um, BP that you spent back. It's just the other person who doesn't get that back. Whoever didn't use it doesn't get that like BP back. So you can alternate if you wanted to between uh, who you use it. Like, you could have uh, Tetsu use it one turn, Yuna use it another turn, and then um, you can pretty much use it, like, all the time. It's really nice. Oh, what do we get? Oh, it's the infamous Peculiar Scale! Yeah, there we go. This is what Cuckoo was looking for. Let's go back to Lanka and give it to him. Oh, she's so happy. Yeah, I'm gonna cut on back. Is this the peculiar skill you're looking for? Oh, that's it! That's exactly what I was looking for! Okay, great! Thank you! Here's the diagram that I promised you! Well, awesome! Nice trade! It's strange diagram number one! Doesn't it feel great to lend a helping hand? I'll bet there are all kinds of people out there waiting for our help! Yeah, I guess so. Oh, it feels okay. But anyway, let's check that out real quick and see, uh, see what we got. Some crafts and make accessories and peculiar diagram number one. Where is it? Hmm, it's a strange diagram. Oh no, it was strange diagram, but I still can't use it. I don't like these strange ones. It decreases agility but increases your defense. That's kind of crappy. All these strange ones are kind of shitty, uh, to be quite honest with you. But anyway, next time on Let's Play Brave Story New Traveler, we'll be heading down to Vahadina to talk to Melody. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and happy watching!